We are excited uh, to be in Paris celebrating great American innovation, great American companies. Uh, we've had a chance to walk around for the last couple of days, uh, and it really is a testament uh, to the great minds and innovators uh, that we have in our country. So uh, I'm proud to be the representative here uh, of the administration uh, because of that great innovation and those great companies. Uh, we're here with our acting administrator uh, of the FAA, who has done just a fantastic bang-up job uh, leading the FAA over the course of the last five months. We've had a lot of things in our plate. We've been doing a lot of things. and. Uh, uh, our acting administrator, Chris Russell, has just been uh, a rock star, for lack of a better phrase, uh, for all of his good work. So thank you, Chris. <laughs> James, great uh, to be here with you uh, and Gamma for all the work that you've done organizing uh, this uh, great group that we have here today. Also, we have the executives from uh, Archer, Beta, Beta, Joby, and, and Whisk. Thank you all uh, for being here. Um, listen, if, if, if you've paid attention, uh, there is a push for innovation in America. And there was a time when uh, government was uh, creating rules and regulations that made it more difficult to innovate in America. And those days are over. We have a president, we have a DOT, we have an FAA that want to see those innovators innovate in America, create great products, great jobs, and then export uh, those wonderful, uh, in this uh, instance, uh, Evitals, uh, export them around the world. Export great American technology uh, around the world. And again, I think that's a, a noted change. Uh, but today, uh, we're excited uh, uh, to announce that uh, we have a new roadmap uh, with the aviation authorities of the Five Eyes countries, United States, the UK, Canada, Australia, uh, and uh, New Zealand uh, to uh, figure out a pathway on how we're going to deal with advanced air mobility. Um, we should all be on the same page. And again, uh, we at the FAA are, 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 uh, are always focused on safety, but trying to push the envelope uh, in good partnership with our innovators and our companies. But we think we should have one framework by which companies around the world can abide by. And we think uh, those partners to start should be the five eyes. And so we have a roadmap to move forward uh, with our partners to have that common platform, which, by the way, is going to provide a bigger market share uh, uh, and uh, faster deployment of new technology. So uh, to talk more about uh, what that roadmap is going to look like and how bright our future is going to be with aviation, I was just telling you, just one, I'm going to give you a side note here. I'm sorry, this is not maybe in great press conference form. But someone made the point to me that uh, from the Wright brothers to John Glenn was 60 years. And from John Glenn to today has been 63 years. Um, and so we haven't seen a ton of innovation, um, like revolutionary innovation, but we're seeing it now uh, with uh, what's happening in advanced air mobility with EVATOLs and drones. And it's a really exciting time in aviation uh, because these new products are coming out that we've never seen before uh, over the course of the last 120 years. And so to be part of it and to be part of this group here in Paris showing great American technology is a real honor for me as the 20th Secretary of Transportation. And I know for the President, he truly cares, as evidenced by his executive order uh, that I, was it last week? The executive order he signed. I, my days are running together, I'm sorry. Last week, the executive order that he signed. Um, and so uh, the, the, the guy that has been uh, driving this policy uh, day in and day out on top of the issues that come up at the FAA is our acting administrator, uh, Chris Rushlow, to talk a little bit more about our roadmap. Chris Rushlow. All of the work that's gone into this is directly related to the leadership of the secretary and the administration and making sure as we build out these innovative technologies, this innovation in, in, this, uh, innovation in this sector, this aviation sector, it's critical that we think about the world, right? It's we're not going to just operate these and sell these in the United States. And it's critical that we work to converge our validation, our certification around the world. So today I'm excited to talk about the FAA and our partnership with the National Aviation Authorities Network. It's in, we um, are partnered with Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. And we've developed a roadmap for advanced air mobility 
and type certification, which is particularly important when we think about exporting these products around the world. Now the roadmap aims to align countries' AAM worthiness, airworthiness, and certification standards. My counterparts and I have signed a declaration of intent to implement the principles around this roadmap. And the principles will foster collaboration, promote technological innovation, and streamline the certification and validation process for these aircraft types across the world. Now, collaboration on this, particularly with regard to a new aircraft type, eVTOLs, and advanced air mobility, will be critical. Now, this is a culmination of much work over many, many months with some amazing partners and marks a significant milestone in meeting the challenges of this emerging technology. But by working together, we will ensure the introduction of AAM aircraft is safe and efficient both domestically in the United States, but just as importantly around the world when we talk about the U.S. products that we want to promote. Now, the challenges of certifying these aircraft are not unique, and that's why we've partnered with the five countries to ensure that this broad co cooperation exists as we continue to develop this technology. If you ever wanted to see a bat signal go up into the air and say AAM is here, eVTOLs will be built, they will be certified and brought around the world, that's today. And we couldn't have done that without the leadership of the Secretary, um, the President of the United States, and I'm extremely grateful um, you know, for all their support for this industry. I do think that this today is a, an incredible moment and one that will actually be remembered where the companies came together, the regulators came together, the administration came together, and all as one defined what the future of aviation is going to look like. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.